Wow, would you look at this? This is the VW Type R. That's right, this is the 2023 VW Type R in lapis blue. If you're interested in the hot hatch market, you want performance and you want good space, this could be the one for you. It's gorgeous. What we're gonna do is we're gonna walk around it, give you an idea of what we're looking at here. We're gonna give you an interior first look and then we're gonna go section by section so you can learn as much about it as possible. We're gonna see a lot of black, a lot of blue, a lot of ambient lighting here, and then a lot of really cool gadgets, pretty wicked awesome technology and features. What we're gonna find here, and you tell me if I'm right or not, we're gonna see performance, absolutely. But then we're also gonna see convenience and luxury features. That was a surprise to me. Will you be just as surprised? And yes, they call it a hot hatch for a reason. It's got the performance, it's got the chops, but it's got the hot hatch. Did you see how I did that? That is really cool. Woo! Woo! 19.9 cubic feet of space behind the second row, and then 34.5 if I put those seats down. We'll look at that later. Let's open this up and see what it's all about. This is a 2.0 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. Get this, 315 horsepower and 295 pound feet of torque. This is the seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. You can also get the six speed manual. What would happen there is number one, you get to drive a stick. Number two, the torque goes from 295 down to 280. This is four motion all wheel drive with torque vectoring. What does that mean? It can send 100% of the power to individual rear wheels if needed. Talk about track driving, drifting. We can see that with our drive modes. We'll look at our 10 inch screen here. We can go to mode and then we've got comfort. We've got sport. You can customize it. And then we've also got race mode. And this is where it gets really loco because you can do drift racing and then special. Look at this. Nürburgring. Nürburgring. Yeah, that's right. So if you want to drive it absolutely the craziest on the track, on the roads, hairpin turns, then go to one of those modes here. And then look here, if I push the blue R button, I mean, it is an R, it's gonna automatically go to race mode. So you can do that on the fly. You don't have to worry about getting to this screen. You just hit it. Yeah, we're still on performance. Look here, if you want your RPMs right here, we can do that. We can also go ahead and change some of the views that we see. You can see road signs, then we got more sport gauges. Then we've got our nav screen. So a lot of different ways we can go here with this sucker, right? That's pretty cool. More performance fast facts. It's got four wheel independent suspension, woo! And then it's also got four wheel disc brakes. But what I really like here is the badging, the bling. Look at these blue calipers. That is so cool. So these are 19 inch wheels with 235, 35 R19 summer performance tires. And look here. We've got lots of, we'll call them Easter eggs, even though they're kind of out in the open. They want you to know that this is an R. How else could they tell you? Well, look at the line across the front here. It's painted blue, or not painted blue, but it's accented blue. That tells you that it's an R. Oh, wait a minute, pirates like this, R. Right there, my friends, shabam. Let's get some lights going here, my friends because we've got LED lights, not only LED lights, but we've got LED daytime lights, and then we've got the LED accent strip. I'll show you that. Oh yeah, baby, look at that, woo! All lit up, my friends, all the way across. Now that is freaking cool. We're also gonna see a combination of the lapis blue with the gloss black. It's got parking sensors. We can also do park assist with this thing because if you want to parallel park, if you want to perpendicular park yourself and you don't know how to do it, let the car help you. It can do the steering while you focus on shifting gears, braking, all that stuff. So tight spots, go with the park assist. That's really cool. Oh man. You guys, this is hot. It's like my friends with the band Outkast used to say, what's cooler than being cool? Ice cold. This is cool right here. We've got the silver 
mirror back here. Ugh. And then that kind of tilts up. Big, huge window right here behind the A-pillar so you can see around it. What's also cool, remember about Outcast? They say, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Well, that's also pretty darn cool, just like this is right here. And then our turn signal sweeping across. Now, this is a hot hatch, my friends. Look at that. That's hot. Shark fin antenna, baby shark fin antenna, do, 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 baby shark fin antenna. All right, so look at here. We've got the pedestal spoiler, gloss black and blue. And then the moonroof is the black. You can actually open that. You've got a shade that comes down and you can open up the moonroof with the shade still drawn. Oh yeah, it's Volkswagen. Then we've got smart open, lock and unlock right there on the front doors. Blind spot is going to be right over here. And that'll show up in a yellowish type color. Rocker panels down below. How do you like the profile? Is this for you? Now that was a cool sound, right? We've got quad tips here. Look at that diffuser, gloss black. Really cool looking, and this is a more mature Still sporty, but it's a clean look in the back here. Not overly busy, just looks really nice. The one thing I cannot find is a backup camera. Well, let's see if we can find it here. Let's go forward a little bit and now watch the VW symbol. In reverse. Oh, wait a minute. Holla. Let's see if we can put it into drive again. put it in the park and then we're gonna start it up again and put it into reverse oh holla let's see if we can open this up again just like that 19.9 cubic feet of space we've got a light there and then we've got a 12 volt circular port right there got tie downs tie downs right there got an extra shirt for me in case it gets really hot Hey, it's been in the 90s here. And then underneath here, pull up. This is a pass-through. So we can pass through because it's, well, called a pass-through. And then, like I said, 34.5 cubic feet of space. So it is spacious for cargo needs all the way to the front. Now, you might expect because it's a hot hatch, you're not going to have that much space in the back. And you'd be partially right because it has 35 inches of rear seat legroom. Although this one's not all the way back, I'm five foot eight, so maybe if you're six foot four, might be a little bit tighter. 38.2 inches of rear seat headroom, which is not bad actually. The seats are very comfortable. Yep, that's a little bit smaller seat, but it's cushy. I like that. So see here, I'm still good. Do you notice the blue headrest? There are blue accents at the top of the seats, which is really wild because it doesn't extend all the way down. And then you'll see blue piping all the way down like that. We've got black and blue carpet mats, like the old NFC North, right? Black and blue division. All right, look at that here. We've got easily marked, easily marked child safety latches right here. And then for car seats, and then we've got cup holders. Looks like one's just a little bit smaller, one's tiny, one's a little bit bigger. It's like the three bears, but for cups. Pretty cool. We have rear temperature, but look at this. We've got seat pockets up top too. Whoa, and I can get my microphones in there. Now that was a surprise. Now back to this rear temperature here. We've got outboard heated seats with variable functions, two USB-Cs down here, that's cool. And then we've got the temperature controls back here, which is really rare to see in a vehicle like this that you're gonna actually be allowed to control it and it looks really fascinating. All right, I see Harman Kardon sound system up there in the A-pillar. That must mean it's got 
a cool sound system, right? That's right, we've got the Harman Kardon system and that's nine speakers, 480 watts, a 12 channel amplifier with subwoofer. And yes, that's one of them right there. Let's look in the front seat and we're gonna be expecting to see power passenger, power driver seat, right? Well, we don't get a power passenger seat. Really cool accent piece though, I like that. Good storage here. You could probably put like a hydro flask, I would think. As a matter of fact, let's try that. Oh, look at that. That is actually really cool. I'm glad I did that. Pretty neat, right? All right, so yeah, you're expecting to see the power passenger seat. Well, again, you're not gonna get that though, no. You're gonna get a pump that raises your seat and it does it quickly. I would just like to see it. I'd like to see that perforated Napa leather moving through power. But look at this, that's interesting. This is power. Wait a minute, that is so weird. So it's kind of like a hybrid seat. Is that a good payoff? Were you excited to wait for that? What we do get is a 12-way power driver seat. Very comfortable and it has three memory positions with lumbar support in the house. You can see it kind of coming out there. I mean, maybe you can see it. We've got the R right in the seat. Black and blue, my friends. Black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. All right. And then down here, got the sport pedals. There are three of them. Is it a stick? No, that one's not the stick. But here's the hood release. Nice wide vents here. And the air actually blows out really, really fast if you need it to. Now this is poor lighting. Look at this, poor weather light. Poor thing, poor thing. So you can, in bad conditions, turn on your lights. Can change it by mode, your defrosters are there. So that's really easy to figure out. That's the light and sight controls. Looks like a sport steering wheel to me, right? Even looks like we've got golf dimples over here on the side. So comfortable. We've got the blue R symbol right here, surrounded by blue. And then of course, remember that the R button over here switches you to race mode immediately. So you can do that quickly. A lot of your safety features like the radar cruise function, the lane assist function, your audio sound, you just swipe it there. That's kind of easy, right? And then this could go between your tracks that you're listening to. And also you can change the view, not the talk show, but what you look at here, I don't like the view. Lots of stuff here, including the navigation. I need to give it time, I didn't give it time. There we go. And now we can go to the heated steering wheel. Boom, look at all the different functions that we can look at here. Pretty neat, right? Well, then we can go over here to the right side. Let's look at our torque. So you can look at matching features there. Look at that, the G meter. Pretty neat stuff. And if you're tired of seeing all that blue accent piece everywhere. Well, you can change it to 30 different colors. You can do, let's see if we can change a couple of those. Eternity, desire, euphoria, vitality. And then we can go custom if we want to. Ho, oh, you just kind of change it. Color one, color two. Kind of neat. So you could do it like that and you've got two different colors. You got upper and lower as well. Now what else can I do? I can do the climate controls, just push over on the climate side. I can adjust just like this. Max air, smart climate, air care. Look at this, warm feet. 
warm hands, cool feet, quick cooling. So let's go over to classic and then let's do something kind of fun here. You want to do something fun? I am cold. Okay, warming the left front side now. It went from low to that, to higher. I am warm. Sure, cooling the left front side now. Wow, that is amazing. And some other things we can look at here. We can do vehicle, exterior lights. So you can change some of the settings about these features. Head up display. It's all bright. The position, the color scheme. Nice. So these are just some of the things that you could look at here. Let's see, status, data, long-term 27.5. It only averages 26, but I'm getting 27.5, long-term at least. It's probably less than that. Since I refueled, I've been getting a little bit less because I've been driving it, well, a little bit tougher because I'm trying to check it out here. So what else do we have here? We got our driving modes, remember that? Climate, park menu, that's for the smart parking. You can parallel and perpendicular park yourself. I'll try to make a video about that one. And then brightness, active, and right here. Up top, we've got auto dimming rear view mirror, and then we got touch lights, touch lights. Now this one's kind of crazy because this is the moonroof. There's the SOS button if you need it. Microphone's there. And then look at this here. It doesn't have a button. Boy, it looks beautiful outside. Watch this. We swipe and it opens up. Hey, swiper, no swiping. Swiper, no swiping. And that's as far as it opens up. Hello, the hills are alive with the sound of music. And one last thing, we've got sliders and their lighted mirrors. You need to know that. And then we've got the oblique handles all the way. Does the driver get it? Weird at camera angle, but it does. Thanks so much for watching everybody. What do you think about the VW Golf R? Are you a fan? How about the hot hatch market? Which one is rising to the top? It's like house of pain. I'm the cream of the crop. I rise to the top. Which one rose to the top? Are you a fan of this one? Maybe GR Corolla, maybe the Civic Type R. Which one's your hot hatch? Thanks for watching. I'm Auto Jeff Reviews at Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube, and I appreciate you all being here. See you next time.